Hello everyone. So for everyone who knows me, they know how much I love my metallic watercolors. So today I'm going to be talking about my metallic watercolor favorites. So first off, I will list some of my favorite handmade metallic watercolor makers. First one being Hydracolor. Um, she's been my number one go-to since I first started using handmade metallic watercolors. And this is a palette that I have all Hydracolor watercolors. And then another one that I love is Ueli watercolors. So she has tons of different sets as well. These are Ueli watercolors. I use Aloha watercolors, Clover set watercolors, uh, Wits watercolors, Foster's Creations. Those are a couple of the brands that I love. And I will list their shops down below so you can go check them out too for yourself. So a few of the sets that are my favorite would have to be, let's see. So these fine glitter ones right here, you can tell they're heavily used. These are by Hydracolor. Um, I also like these Color Shift watercolors. And there's other makers too who make Color Shift or fine glitter watercolors as well. I like this set over here by Ueli. It's another color shift. It's like a super shiny color shift watercolors. And let's see. I love the Lollipop collection from Ueli, which is right here. There's just a lot of different makers that have really unique qualities. So from Clover Set Watercolors, I have these. And she does the unicorn dusting, which is basically putting flakes on top of the watercolors. And it's mixed in with the watercolors as well. So I think that that's super cool and unique. So this is... I love that she does the unicorn dusting. So any of her unicorn dusted watercolors I try to get because I just love how shiny they are. Okay, so moving on to some of my favorite metallic watercolor products. So first off is this Pigeon Letters Studio Round 6 brush. I have multiple of these. I love these brushes. I typically use size 6. That's just what I'm comfortable with. Um, but she does have size 4 if you want something smaller, size 2. And she also has a lot bigger, too. I don't know if I have any nearby. See, I have a little bit bigger, a size 8. But she also has different styles of brushes, too. But the size 6 is the one that I most commonly use. Now, watercolor pens. Now, this is something that I have used for a while now and a lot of people have picked up on it and they've loved it too and the reason why people like it so much is because it's like a marker tip so if you're not comfortable using a brush you can use the marker tip and um, it writes just like a marker and so I use that with my watercolors and so I will link the one that I use it's seriously it's a kid's toy it's something from my kids that I took from my kids uh, there's different kinds too that have like a little bit smaller nibs, but I always revert back to this one. You can see it's gotten a lot of wear and tear, but it comes in like a three pack. So it's a really good deal. And then the next supply is these tins right here. Um, I just like having uniform tins all the same size. I don't like having all the mix match different size tins. So these are actually from Hydracolor. She sells them, well, at the moment when I'm speaking, she sells them in like a two pack, three pack, or four pack. So you can just purchase the tins and organize them how you want. So I like that because I like keeping them all the same. Um, and then also I have these right here. 
are called Magic Palettes. And what's super cool about them, I showed you earlier, the watercolors stick because there's a magnetic plate underneath. You can't really see it, but um, the watercolors stick. So like if I get new colors, I'll put them on here and then swatch them out. And it's great because before I had this, I would just have them sitting on my desk and they would go sliding all over the place. So, and then it's also really cool because she makes different colors. This is like a holographic black one and she makes different sizes. So this is a little bit smaller size, but they're really useful and handy to have. I will link Sarah Letter Be Seen. This is where I got it from. I will link her down below so you can check them out for yourself too if you're interested. So I also, another product that I love is these um, Pluck and Place Swatch System. And this is by Emily Rose from Amazing Artistry. And what I love about them is it's the black and white plug and place system. She has um, just the white one too, but what I like about the black and white ones is that metallic watercolors show up different on black and white paper. So it's really useful to have that so that when I'm choosing a color, I can look and see, okay, what color paper am I using? And then, okay, what would look good so i can already see it there you know i get comments from people saying well you can already see the watercolor so why don't you just pick it out like that you don't need the swatches but in all honesty you do because like this shows up a lot different than on the paper up here it's not as dense and it's not as saturated as it is on the paper. So it really helps to have those. And so I will link her profile below because I think this is a great way. Oh, and it also has Velcro that it comes with. So I've actually switched it out. It comes with Velcro dots, which I have the Velcro dots on the back but I just put um, flat Velcro so I can move them around as I need to instead of having the dots there, just in case anything changes. So that's what I love too, because if I get a new color, like let's say I got a pink color and wanted to add it between these two, I can just move the swatch over instead of having to re-swatch everything. So that's really valuable in my opinion. Okay, so next let's move on to paper. So for white paper, um, I use a lot of Canson XL mixed uh, watercolor paper, sorry. And I actually don't have any, I just bought some more. Um, prices have gone up with Canson XL watercolor used to, paper used to be like $5 for a pad, but now it's gone up. So I just recently got some on Amazon. This is like the new um, cheaper watercolor paper from Walmart from Grumbacher. And I've used it and it's actually really good too. So I like this watercolor paper. It has like a kind of different texture. I don't know if you can see it. A little bit different. This is, um, here's the Canson. This is Canson watercolor paper, the one on top. And then the Grumbacher it has a little bit different texture, but I like both of them. Um, I love to cut up the paper into like three sections because usually I do like a single word or something when I'm lettering. So um, I like to get cheap paper for that. And then next for black paper is this Legion Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press Paper. It's really awesome that they have it in black. It is a little bit on the pricey side, but it's worth it if you wanna do a piece on black paper because it's nice and thick and the colors blend nicely without warping the paper. And then lastly is I like to use handmade ceramic watercolor cups. 
This one is by Sylvan Clayworks. What I like about the watercolor cups is like, you can see at the bottom, it has the ridges. So that helps to, um, when you're rinsing your brush to wipe it, not like vigorously, but just wipe it gently across the ridges. And that helps to remove some of the glitter from there. So this one is from Sylvan Clayworks. And then this one is from BNCA Pottery, but they're also really beautiful too and they have brush rests as well so your brush can just rest there perfectly another thing i forgot to mention too is i have these um water droppers that i love um it helps to drop the water perfectly onto the pan without just making a huge mess so and then you just drop the water on I will link these as well. I like the pink because obviously it's pink, but there's these smaller ones too. So let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm happy to answer any other questions about supplies or watercolors. I do have a full watercolor course, metallic watercolor course for those who are interested. Enrollment is only open twice a year and I will link all the information in my description if you're interested.